Hey there, thank you so much for joining me. As you can see, I'm nice and warm and uh, dry inside my house right now. Uh, but I have some videos for you. What have I got? The latest FSD update, 10.69.3.1. And since I work up in Bellingham, I had the opportunity to film three different videos. I originally was going to make them one long one, and I thought, no way, that's too much. So instead, I split it up. And we've got three drives here. So this is the second portion of the drive. This is me exiting I-5 South, getting onto Inter or State Route 20 to head into Anacortes. You'll really appreciate this. It's pouring down rain during this video, and yet FSD does a pretty good job right up until the end. At the end of the video, you can see I have to intervene because of some traffic issues. And so hopefully you enjoy that. And then be on the lookout for a third video coming where FSD drives me home through the city of Anacortes. So thanks so much for watching, and I just hope if you enjoy this content, you'd hit that subscribe. All right, folks, and here we are, just pulling on to State Route 20. So we're gonna engage FSD, and it says full self-driving unavailable because of the weather. So, oh, maybe we got it back. Let's try and engage it again. And there we go. All right. So full self-driving is engaged. Uh, we just spent, oh, about 20 minutes on Interstate 5 South. And now we're getting on to State Route 20 West. And we'll see how the car does. So we've got a left-hand turn here. It's light-controlled car usually doesn't have too much of a problem with it, but I thought this might be a good opportunity to see all of the traffic in the labeling network. And then over here we can see the occupancy network where it knows there is stuff there, but hasn't necessarily assigned it a label. And we've got a green light, so we'll hopefully wait for these other cars to go. More often than not, it's the other drivers that have a hard time, and FSD seems to do a pretty damn good job. All right, that was a nicely executed left-hand turn. We're going to go ahead and dial our speed up here, and I'm going to goose it just a little bit. And we're getting passed on the right. That's kind of embarrassing, but I just want to see what Amos is going to do here. It doesn't seem like he wants to make any lane changes. So I'm going to initiate a lane change. To get around this knucklehead here. And we'll goose our speed a little bit. And we're going to get give them a honk. Sorry folks, but I just absolutely cannot stand people that sit in the left-hand lane and then go way under the speed limit. It is absolutely the most horribly rude thing a person can do. Have some good etiquette. And look at, we can see up here, there's a whole string of cars. Everybody's camped out in the left lane, so this might just be where we hang out for the rest of the drive. Definitely a very, very good amount of rain. Amos is slowing down early, but I'd say nicely. And we're gonna see how it does. So far, so good. And you gotta remember, uh, this is a no radar car. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Amos pinched the brakes a little bit because we got this slow traffic going, and the guy behind me almost rear ended me. So, I had to goose it just a little bit. And everybody is going wicked slow. And I had to goose it a little bit there. I think we're being. 
extra cautious with our follow distance because of the weather. That's, I think, very pretty obvious what's going on. And people are being goofballs. Not getting over. I did that too, folks. I goosed the throttle a little bit. Uh, definitely, definitely FSD is, is being very, very cautious. And I think that's a good thing. Um, but the car in front of us is, we've got a lot of distance between us. Uh, much more than I would normally have if I was driving. But that's probably why full self-driving is safer than human drivers. Because it's, you know, giving a nice big safety margin. So we'll go with that. Uh, probably not a terribly exciting portion of the video, but I think it's important to give you all kinds of different uh, perspectives here. So while this isn't an interstate, it's a state route. And since it's a state route, we get FSD. And I thought you might be interested to see how the car does in these situations. And as you can see, it's very cautious, very, very cautious. I mean, I have, oh, probably a good three or four car lengths between me and the person in front of me. We are definitely going slow. This is almost painful. Painfully safe, I would say. Wow, it is raining hard. Automatic wipers working really good. Uh, the auto brights, um, I have them turned off, but I can turn them back on. They haven't been uh, annoying. They seem to have been working pretty well. I had them on this morning and they weren't flashing people in the eyes, so I thought that was pretty good. As people know, the auto brights and auto wipers can have issues, <laughs> but they seem to be improving. Amos wants to change lanes into a faster lane. Hasn't, de hasn't decided that there's no lanes there. Yeah, we're going to pinch the brakes and get over into this other lane here. All right, I took over there. Uh, why? Because FSD was not driving very well. And now FSD is not available. So when I turned it off, I lost it and we may not get it back due to this poor weather. So we are going to just have to wait and see if we get it back. Nope, it's gonna be navigate on autopilot. Well, there you have it, folks. So I was talking about how well it was doing right up until the end and then uh, stopped way early. I almost, somebody behind me was following me too close, almost rear-ended me. And then I used uh, to disengage just to get out of this mess because I needed to get away from that traffic. It was ridiculously stopped. All right, so poor weather, no FSD. Uh, we can see that there are faults. So I'm gonna stop the recording here. If I get FSD back when I get closer into town, I'll turn it on. Uh, but otherwise, I really appreciate you joining me. Um, I hope you find some value out of these videos and I would love to give you uh, more information as I can. So thank you and good night. And I'm taking over so I can get around. And we're gonna do it again. There we go. Thank you again and I'll talk to you soon.